Hello YouTube, Richard here with another Airsoft Gun Review. Today's topic is... Guess what? The Tanaka Car 98K. This gun is a, a gas-operated bolt-action rifle from the Second World War. Let's open the box. Here is the box. Not too much in it. But the most important thing is the, the rifle is, is there. There is some manual, yeah, Japanese. Yeah, how to insert and remove the magazine. Little plug. A speed loader with some BBs. And the gun itself. You may think this gun is made of steel and wood. No, unfortunately, not all metal parts are steel, but the front side is steel, <laughs> the bottom is not. These parts are not. These are made of aluminum, I think. Yeah, the scope mount too. Yeah, and the rear sight is, is steel, the upper receiver is not steel, this latch is steel, the bolt assembly is not steel, magazine, magazine is not steel, oh, where is my magnet? Wait, by the way, this is the hop up, the hop up screw. Uh, adjustable by by a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver. This is the magazine. That's the magazine release. Trigger guard trigger. Stuck. And the butt plate. Butt plate. Let me see. Yeah, butt plate is steel or iron, whatever. This this is not. Trigger guard not. Trigger not. This is the rear side, it's adjustable for elevation. Yeah, this is the bolt assembly. Nice, great looking. Yeah, the wood, wood looks great, really great, feels great. I love it. Uh, and I can show you some interesting things. These are special Hungarian uh, markings. All airsoft guns sold here has to carry these signs. Uh, interestingly, if you buy anything else, uh, anything else, anywhere else uh, in the European Union, for example, UK or Poland, they don't have to have these these markings anyway let me turn it around for you uh, there are the same engraving engravings in the in the wood six millimeter bb and the serial number yeah these are belongs to the the Hungarian markings operation is quite simple bolt action uh, just a minute. Okay. I need to trust him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too, too lazy to get my tripod. Turn the board. Listen to this voice. Pull it back. Push it forward, turn again, and you are ready to fire. This is the safety. Uh, no, it's safe, and you are ready to fire. 
uh, yeah. No gas in the magazine, but it's not the shooting test. I'm about to do the shooting test soon. Um, just let me show this gun for you. Oh, again, it's great. It's HD quality. Look for the details and the general beauty of this World War II weapon. Look at the wood. Look at the sign. Sign sights. Sorry for my bad English. The magazine. Oh yeah, I show you how to remove the magazine. This is the stack. Great, great, great. Good looking. Yeah. Uh, the signs. What signs? <laughs> Interesting. B and Z, 43, and yeah, you are seeing what I want to see. Same engravings in the back butt plate. Great. I love it. The best airsoft gun I, gun I ever had. So the magazine. Um, I really need the tripod, but magazine removal. Like all the Tanakas, the bolt has to be pulled back and push the magazine release forward and the magazine is going to not fall but re it needs really small force to get it out yeah the mag this gun is not compatible with the M700 series the magazine is slightly longer and thinner. It has the same uh, feel valve in the top and this is the flow valve to the to the board and these are where the these are where the BBs this is the where the BBs go. It has a 10 round capacity so if you plan to skirmish this gun and why not because this is the only Car 98K which not using shells and this means, in my terms, it is the only car 98 that can be used for skirmishing in war games. So you will need at least one more separate magazine, but I recommend uh, four. These are 50 shots. The magazine is well made, all metal, great weight. Nice. I love it. Reserving the magazine is quite simple. Put it in the magwell. Push it. Push the bolt forward. And yeah. That's about it. Uh, yeah, my camera is going to run out of battery, uh, so I have to say goodbye. Thanks for watching, great comment, whatever. Stay tuned for more vids. Thank you.